This video is broken up into seven parts that will show you exactly the process I would go through in order to make $2,000 per week by trading. The first thing I would make sure I do if my goal is to make $2,000 per week is to not focus on the money. Rather, I'd focus on making smart trades. Let me show you an example of that. Here you see the live trade alert of a cash care put option that we sold against GILD. Now for those of you that aren't option traders, a cash care put option is a neutral to bullish position in a company. And we actually sold several of these cash care put options over the next couple of days. Here you see we sold one on November 21st, another one on November 27th, and we added to it on November 28th. Fast forward less than a month later, and as you see here on December 15th, we close out this position for a nice profit. It only cost us 20 cents per share. Now let me show you why I say this was a smart trade and why you should make sure that you're focusing on making smart trades and not on how much money you're trying to make. We're gonna focus on this bottom left chart of GILD, which is the daily chart. Where you see the two yellow arrows that are pointed up, that's the time frame that we're adding to our short cash secure put option position in GILD, which is a neutral to bullish position. Why did I decide it was a good time to start and add to this position? Well, notice that GILD had recently declined about 10% and appeared to be finding support right around that $74 area. With the technicals lined up in our favor, I decided to enter a bullish to neutral position in GILD. Well, what happened? Well, over the next several weeks, GILD had a nice advance as we thought that it most likely would. It went from around $74 per share to $82 per share. Then the technicals began to look like they were kind of breaking down, like its momentum had stopped, so we exited this position. Here you see a spreadsheet that contains all of our trades in GILD over the past couple of years. The yellow shaded area are the trades that I just shared with you. Now, any one of these trades might not seem like much potential profit. For example, this top trade, when we sold the cash care put option, we only pocketed $104. That's a long way from $2,000 for the month. However, we did several more trades, as I shared with you earlier. We were able to walk away with a nice profit, as you see on the far right, of $371 in this GILD position. But if we just focused on making $2,000 a month, we probably would have overtraded this first position, potentially lined us up to be in a bad position. But notice what happens over time by making smart, well thought out trades. In all, as you see here on the bottom, we've pocketed right at $10,550 in net premium by selling options in GILD over the past couple of years. That comes from making smart trades. No, they don't all go our way and we have a plan for that, but we try to make well thought out smart trades that aren't based on how much we're trying to make, but are based solely on, is this a good trade? When I was prepping this video, it reminded me of something I heard about coaching. The head coach of the Florida State Seminoles right now is Mike Norvell, and he's known for turning that program around over the past few years. Check out this clip of him talking to his players. Everything that we have, you control you, right? Everything we got, details, discipline, fundamentals, technique. This is why we train the way that we train. All adversity, it can all show up. Bring it all. So the first point is don't focus on making $2,000 a week. Focus on making smart trades like we did here with GILD. Now the second point ties in pretty closely with point number one, but it's so important, I want to keep it all by itself. And that is don't trade greedy. Rather, trade like we said number one, trade smart. Greed can be your enemy. You can't allow yourself to trade greedy. Trading greedy will get you in financial trouble. Trading smart, as you see here in column D, will put a ton of cash into your pocket over the long run. If you trade smart, that $2,000 a week is just a side effect of making smart trades. No, they won't always go your way, but a lot of them will, and that'll result in you putting nice, consistent cash flow into your pocket every week and every month. I have a nice saying I try to keep in mind here that if I do the right things, the money will come. I don't need to worry about the money because it will show up in my account. And here you see that over the past several years, in fact, this column here, D, is a running total of how much we've pocketed net from selling options. We've pocketed over half a million dollars by making smart trades and not focusing on being greedy, not focusing on $2,000 a week, but focusing on good, solid trades. The third thing I would do, especially if I was starting out, kind of new to trading, is to start small. It's hard to watch YouTube videos, maybe like this one, I just showed you a column where I've made over half a million dollars over the past few years. It might be hard to think about starting small, but if you're new, it's very important to start small. You don't know what you don't know. You have to make some mistakes to learn the types of trades that work for you and the ones that tend to go against you. Now doing what you're doing right now by educating yourself, that goes a long way to helping you become a better stock and option trader. And surrounding yourself with a good group, that can also help you to become a better stock and option trader. But you're still going to make some mistakes. So start small if you're new to stock and option trading. Make sure your strategy works in good and bad markets. Make sure it's battle tested. Know what will happen when things go against you and when they go for you. And also while you're doing that, you're going to learn how you respond mainly to adversity. 
because that's very important in becoming a long-term successful stock and option trader. Notice the title of this video was not how to make $2,000 a week in the first week of next year. It was how to make $2,000 a week. You may not be making your goal in the first week. It might be the middle of the year. It might even be the end of the year. But if you follow the process I'm sharing with you here, you will be able to reach your reasonable goals this year. The fourth thing I would do to make $2,000 a week consistently is to remind myself that I won't win every trade. That's literally Mission Impossible. And although the movies Mission Impossible are great, fun movies to watch, we don't want to give ourselves an impossible mission when it comes to trading. You will have losses. Expect that. Plan for it mentally and financially. And since you know it's going to happen, have a plan on how you will repair your positions before you get into the position. I have a whole video series dedicated on how to repair option positions that go against you. If you'd like to check it out, I'll leave a link at the top of the screen and also in the description below so you can check it out after this video. But have a plan for when trades and positions go against you. And once they do, just work that plan. Expecting perfection is fun in the movies as you see here with Tom Cruise and Mission Impossible. But expecting perfection from yourself is unreasonable as a stock and option trader. This fifth tip is very important when it comes to being a consistently profitable stock and option trader, and that's to have a simple strategy that's proven over time. Don't try every new strategy you run across. Focus on one or maybe two strategies and become so good at them that you're one of the best in the world. Now, what I mean by that is just don't be bouncing around from new strategies every time you run across a new strategy on YouTube or some book you're reading. Focus on one or two strategies really get to know them and become very good at implementing their strategies. My main strategy I'm using now is to sell cash care put options against stock that I believe are fairly valued or even better, stocks that are undervalued. Now, if they're assigned to us, we turn them into covered calls. As I mentioned, we do some unique things like risk reversals, poor man's covered calls and ratio spreads. But that's a smaller portion of our overall trading strategy. If you're new to option trading, focus on just one or two strategies. Stick with those until you feel very comfortable with how they work in good and in bad markets. I share with you a cash care put option position that we're in, but here's another position that we did recently in my smaller ops trading account. This account has about $30,000 in it. And notice here with our CSX trade, we did a covered call trade. We bought the stock and we sold covered calls against the position. And we're also lined up to receive the dividend. Now this stock was called away from us, that's because the trade went according to plan. One of the reasons why it worked out so well for us is that we used a little known technique to tap into a hidden pool of buyers. That hidden pool of buyers pulled our stock price up after we entered this trade. Where you see this yellow arrow, that's where we entered the covered call position in CSX. And where you see the down yellow arrow, that's where it was a call away from us. So this hidden pool of buyers pulled CSX up about 10% during the time we we're in this trade thus turning this into a very profitable position for us. Make sure you have a solid strategy that's proven over time, but also have a backup plan for when positions go against you. Now the next tip is to be picky about your trades. In the bottom right, you see the chart of ELV. We did a cash secure put option that I'm about to show you in just a minute in ELV. Where you see the yellow arrow pointed up, that's when we sold the cash care put option. And where you see the yellow arrow pointed down, that's when we exit this position. And the reason why I like this trade is that ELV have been finding nice support right around this $432 area. But just in case, notice here in the live trade alert, I sent out my patrons, that we sold the $420 cash care put option. That meant the ELV could go down another $11 below its previous support before this cash care put option we had sold was challenged. As you see here, when we sold this cash care put option that was based on strong technical analysis, we pocketed $3.80 per share. Fast forward a little less than three weeks later, and as we closed this position out, we bought it back for $0.35 cents per share. But the reason why this trade worked out so well is that just like with GILD, just like with CSX, and just like you see here with ELV, we were very picky about our trade. We made sure we were selling cash care put options in a stock that was at support, and we gave ourselves some room in case the stock declined below that support. So we set ourselves up to win because we were so picky with our trade. So be picky with your stock and option trades. Only trade in charts that have clearly defined support and resistance and ignore the rest of it. That'll help you to be consistently profitable as a stock and option trader. The seventh tip is to define your risk or cap your risk with one you're comfortable with. Here you see a position we're in right now in CNI. We sold the January 19th, $105 cash care put option, but to cap our risk, we bought that same expiration day, $70 protective put option. That means we don't have the whole $105 per share at risk, we only have $35 per share at risk. And as you see here in the far right, 
that insurance only cost us 10 cents per share. But it lined us up for an overall nice profit, as you see here, of $297, and we capped our risk. Now, you may not buy protected put options if you're willing to have the stock assigned to you. But if you're mainly trading options, you want to get in and out of a position and protect yourself in case the overall market or the stock were to decline, then cap your risk by buying some protection like we did here with CNI. Selling options against stock that I'm comfortable owning is one of the easiest ways I generate consistent monthly cash flow. If you'd like to get an alert whenever we buy stock or sell options, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you'd like to see how to find the best stocks to trade options in, check out the video at the link above and the description below entitled The Perfect Option Wheel Stocks, How to Find Them. Until next time, happy investing and we'll see you again soon.